Hi guys, welcome to all. And in this today's video, we are going to see about view versus copy and numpy. So before going into coding concept, let me introduce a small note here. The first one is changes made to the view will affect to the original array, whereas changes made to the copy will not affect to the original array. Always keep this in mind, in guy, mind guys. Okay. And the next thing is view is just the view of a original array, and copy is like creating a new array. Okay, so uh, with all these things, let me go into the coding concepts now. So before that, let me import the numpy package by using import keyword. Okay, let's do that, guys. Yeah, we have imported numpy. Okay, now let's understand the functionality of view with the small examples here. So note here, view does not owns the data. Okay, let me explain you clearly with this example. Uh, like I am creating a, an array with using np dot array with elements 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now let's print it, guys. Okay, we have 10, 20, and 30, 40. Now I am using the view function and storing an, into another array, array 2. Okay, now let's do that. And I am changing element index 1 with 1000. Yeah, so now let's print array 2, guys. Yeah, so you can see, right, array 2 uh, has elements 10, 1000, 30, and 40. As I change array 2 elements, now let's see what happened to array 1. Yeah, you can see, right. Array one elements also change. Yeah. So here we can clearly see that changes made in array two got reflected to array one also. So this is the functionality of view. So with all these things, let's go to the copy and how it contrasts with a view function. Okay. Yeah. So same here also we are creating np dot array with 10, 20, 30, and 40 elements. Now let's print array one. Yeah. Now here we are using copy function and we are storing it to array two. Now, same here also, we are uh, changing the index 1 uh, index one element to 1000. Now, let's print it, guys. Let's execute this statement. Yeah. Now, let's print array 2 and let's see what all elements are present in array 2. Yeah, you can see 1000 here, right? As we have changed here, the uh, second index, the first index element with 1000. Now, let's see what happened to the array 1 elements. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that the changes are not reflected to the array 1. So we can clearly say that changes made in array 2 not, not all reflected in array 1. This shows that by using copy, we can completely own the data. Yeah, you can got much clarity, right, about view and copy. So uh, copy does not reflect the changes. Yeah. So additional tip, guys, uh, uh, if you have time, please go through this uh, documentation referring Geeks for Geeks to get much clarity. Thanks for your time.